What is a UPC code and which UPC is best for your Amazon business? So UPC stands for unit product code. And this is pretty much the standard barcode and product identifier that's globally accepted. Now for Amazon, they actually have their own proprietary inventory system or their proprietary barcode system that is used for their inventory or FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon. And that's called an ASIN. We previously discussed this, but in order to generate an ASIN, you have to have a UPC. Now, if you may know recently, if you're starting to sell on Amazon, they may be giving you issues with your UPC. See, in the past, you could pretty much use any UPC, even though since the get-go, Amazon's terms of services and their recommendations has required that you utilize GS1 barcodes. You can see those on gs1.org. Those are super expensive and nobody, including myself, used them because we didn't wanna pay that hefty cost. Now they're starting to dial down on using GS1 and starting to enforce it. So you may get some error codes when you're using traditional UPC codes off of different websites, right? However, it still does work. You just have to test a few different ones. If you get the error code, chances are is your UPC code was repopulated, regenerated, or reused. So typically you can still buy like 100 UPC codes or 50 UPC codes for the price of the one GS1. So if you wanna save some money, you're on a little bit of a budget, what you can do is you can literally just go to Google and type for reputable, cheap, or reputable, inexpensive, barcodes or UPC codes and do your research and just choose one. There's tons of them, right? Um, if you wanna just spend the extra money and not have to worry about it, then you can go to gs1.org and pay the 100 to $200 per UPC, which is what Amazon wants you to do. But again, full transparency and honesty, I still use UPC codes that I got off of the internet years ago. Tons of our clients and our members um, also do this as well. You are running the risk of having to try multiple different UPCs, but if you don't wanna deal with the headache, just go with the GS1 approach and you can find those at gs1.org. But this is super important that you have your UPC because you're not gonna be able to create your listing, launch your product and ship your product to Amazon without your UPC because you need the UPC to generate an ASIN code. Once you do that, it's game time and you can ship your product to Amazon and start selling. For more content and videos like this, make sure that you turn all of the notifications on on my Instagram account. That way you're notified of every video, post and live Q&A that I do. Also, check out more videos on my YouTube channel, at Joshua Crisp on YouTube. There's over 100 plus videos similar to this in all around entrepreneurship. And for 50% off all services as well as softwares that AMZ Hunter offers, make sure you check out www.amzhunter.com and use promo code HUNTER50.